the more that you feel as if you have already everything that you need, the more that the universe is going to reciprocate to you and the faster results you're going to see. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tatiana and today I have a special video for you. We are right at the end of Leo season as I'm recording this video about to enter Virgo season, which happens to be my season. So there's been different lessons from the way that we creatively express ourselves and the way that we love, that we take from that Leo energy, and also the practicality side of Virgo, that when we combine those two together, that can be such a powerful combination. And we also have a full moon today. So I thought that this would be a very beautiful um, day to create a video full of intention. And I wanted to make it on how to magnetize and romanticize your life. So for us to magnetize and make it extra easy for us to achieve the goals that we have that involve self-love, expressing love, receiving love, we have to rewire what we're used to. So in order to make room for all of these blessings to arrive in our lives, these blessings that we know that we love and adore and that makes us extremely happy, we need to be able to be the recipient of that. We need to be able to be a good complement to those blessings. So the way that we do that is by rewiring our subconscious mind, rewiring our brain. And the reason why we have to start with our mindset first is because we only have control of 5% of our brain. So even though we only have 5% control, that's enough. We can over time create a habit and routines and repetitive patterns that get from the conscious side of our brain to our subconscious. And this is the magical side of our brain because even though we cannot see with our human eye what's going on around energetically, there's so much that's happening that does not meet a surface level. And this is where we can actually empower ourselves a lot faster if we continue to repeat the same good patterns and we let go of the patterns that no longer serve us, that no longer bring us joy, that no longer bring us peace, that no longer bring us love, that no longer bring us a state of being where we feel like we are in touch with our highest version of ourselves. In the highest version of ourselves is the one that's going to know how to achieve what we want, is going to magnetically attract what we want what we what our hearts desire and which is a little it's very different than our ego's desire our ego's desire could be based on competition it could be based on um insecurities but our heart's desires those are based on our values those are based on the things that have always have a special meaning for us since we remember and that's going to be a good thing to do to differentiate between both of them as the more that we come closer to feeling joy, feeling peace, feeling enlightenment, the higher we're going to vibrate. And we are vibrating at this higher level, we're gonna be an energetic match for more things alike. So let's connect to the version of ourselves that exists because in quantum physics, it is known that this version of ourselves and our future version of ourselves, they're happening at the same time. We are able to connect to another timeline and it's almost like we get headsets, we get teasers of what could happen. So the more that we are in touch with that version of ourselves, that already has the dream life that already is living in 
the life that we dream of that we love and we're so grateful for the more that we're gonna see around us giving us those validations we don't need to get validation from anyone else we don't need to get validation from people or events we can get it from our future version of ourselves and that is a wonderful thing so to get closer to get more of a, a sample of that energy i recommend to visually connect to visualize and you can create a vision board or have images that remind you of that highest version of herself that is already in love with their lives that is already living the life that that is so and overflowed that anything that happens is for the highest good and the more that you're able to get detailed the more that you're able to get specific the more that the universe can align it even faster. So decide now, not tomorrow, not the next week, not the next month, not who knows in how long. Decide now what you want and decide that you can have it now. And one way that is very powerful to align you to that frequency of yourself, not just thinking about it, um, that you are in alignment no no you have to feel it feeling it is part of that magnetic attraction because if there's no feeling then there's not going to be a flow so visualize it journal get very detailed on how and what you are surrounded by imagine as if you already have a 360 vision of everything that is part of that lifestyle that you wish for from the moment that you wake up the gratitude that you share as you open your eyes to the moment that you go back to sleep and you're connecting again to your subconscious mind this is a powerful time to connect and be able to let the subconscious soak in and after time, the more that we repeat these patterns, the good patterns, the more that the subconscious will reprogram itself, readjust, and then make it happen in front of our eyes in material ways. Another wonderful way that you can connect even faster to this version of yourself is to create a playlist of those songs that make you feel so good, that make you feel so light. And we wanna keep them up high. We don't want to allow guilt or illusions or deception or anything that might even make you feel jealous or might make you feel insecure because of the wording that is included in the lyrics. We want to make sure that we're listening to the best type of music that's going to allow us to align even faster to that feeling as if it's already here, as if it's done. This is my life right now. And right now I'm in my head and I'm listening to music and this music is only validating what I am experiencing. And the more that you do this, the more that you're listening to higher vibrational music, similar to eating high vibrational food, you're gonna see change in a physical way. And that is exactly what we want. We want to see everything started from our mindset and then allowing the subconscious to rewire and connect to the energetic fields of the universe. So that way we are an energetic match. So be selective of the music that you listen to and utilize music as a tool. It's a tool. It's, you don't have to be a slave to it that's actually the worst kind of music that we can actually select is the one where we are part of their insecurities their lack of maturity and nowadays let's be honest music sucks a lot of it sucks um so we have to be extra selective with that because at the end you are absorbing those insecurities and you want to absorb the highest vibration possible. So keep that in mind as you select the music that goes into your playlist. 
Next, let's make it normal to have dialogues, have conversations with God, with the universe, with source, and let God know what it is that we truly feel happy for, what makes us happy, what makes our heart just explode with joy, and let's connect to that frequency more often. So the way that I've noticed that it's a very good way to practice these dialogues with God is to, one, write down in a notebook, as if you're starting to type a question. Um, you start with, you can start with, um, God, are you available for a talk? And really surrender yourself, really be relaxed to receive and channel that information. And you're gonna notice that the more relaxed you are, the more that you trust, the more that you believe that you can have this beautiful conversation with God, with your higher self, with the universe, with source, with your angels, you will get answers because you are literally connecting like, like a radio station. You are selecting what you want to tune into and you can ask anything you want. It's very easy. You can start with, God, are you available for a talk? And you write it down and then God responds and then you can continue to go back and forth with the questions and answers that you wish to receive. This is something very powerful. And another way that we can communicate with God, with Source, the universe, our highest version of ourselves, is by just going about our day. And if you have a question, you have a request, you can utilize this time to say please and thank you whether it's something that you like or not you can still be polite and the more polite you are to the universe the more that's going to come back to you the more that is going to be reflected in your reality you're going to meet some of the kindest people around you and they're just going to be magnetically drawn to your energy because you are radiating this higher frequency and don't be surprised if as you're walking down the street while you're connected to a higher frequency of yourself that you start to notice that people they just look at you with peace and animals they feel drawn to you this is a after effect of vibrating such high frequency so we want to magnetize the way that we love our lives and the way that we are connected to that self-love that already exists in you. And another way to communicate with our highest version is to just put your hands over your chest and feel your heartbeat. Feel it, know that this is powerful, quiet your surroundings. then you're, you're gonna get your answers. You will feel them. You will get that light bulb moment. You will know it instantly. And this is a wonderful opportunity to practice the please and thank you as you send your request to the universe, to God, whether it is something that's confusing to you or something that you know that you wish to experience in your lifetime. And something that I want to super emphasize is to avoid at all costs to say one day in the future or someday or next year or whenever I get that promotion or whenever, whatever it is. If it's something that is not now in the moment, you are validating to yourself right away, kind of like looking in the mirror and getting a response back from that reflection you are validating that you do not have that you are validating to your subconscious mind that you are either not worthy of it or you are not the exception or that things like that don't happen for people like you who cares it's your reality you can do be have whatever you want 
the only thing stopping you from you obtaining your true desires from living a life that you're madly in love with is you is your limitations l telling you and stopping you and letting you know that you have work to do you you're not worthy exactly you don't look the part things like that just don't happen for people like you or your background or whatever it is who cares there's miracles happening every day and there's people who are always being talked about who are an exception to the rule you know that you are worthy of it you know that you are a good person if you're a person who doesn't go out and create some kind of disaster for another person or enjoys killing or or hurting others why wouldn't you be worthy of something as beautiful as the life of your dreams a life that you're so madly in love with be kind to yourself and also be your biggest cheerleader and the more that you practice these, the more that you continue to align to that higher version of yourself that you know that already exists in the now, as if it's happened now, you declare it, it's done, it's done, it's done. And then you even feel this shift happening as if it's, oh yes, actually, I feel different continue to do that repeat it repeat it repeat it especially utilize the time when you are going into that alpha state when you are connecting to your subconscious at night when you are connecting to that data state as we are drifting into falling asleep this is a very powerful time to connect to our subconscious mind so don't waste it don't waste that opportunity if you're able to as you wake up and as you go back to sleep. The more that you repeat these good patterns that are gonna get you closer to your goal, the more that you feel as if you have already everything that you need, the more that the universe is going to reciprocate to you and the faster results you're going to see. You need to be able to be able to relax. You have to be okay relaxing and receiving the information and trusting your intuition and you have to make it normal that you get to connect to that version of yourself that you wish to embrace, become, and just allow yourself to really accept it, accept whatever comes through, accept whatever downloads, accept whatever is reflected in front of your reality that you feel is in alignment. Use it to the best of your abilities and watch what happens. <laughs> I want to hear your breakthroughs. I want to hear those wonderful stories. So please feel free to share them in the comment section down below. I am so grateful that you're here with me, spending time with me in this video. And if you feel that this video could benefit someone that you know, please feel free to share it with your friends. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments in the section down below so that way I'm able to continue to make more videos like this. And for more, please check the description of this video where you can find out ways to connect with me. All right, I hope you have a magnificent and magical day. I will see you in my next video. Mm, take care.